have tomatoes, beans, and arugula, which is like a lettuce. down on one end of the strip of paper. You came home with your recycled pot wrapped in plastic so that it didn't get wet. Take off your plastic from the bottom, add some water until the soil is dark brown, not light brown. When you replace the plastic, you want to put it only on the top of the plants. So when you put the plastic wrap on, it doesn't have to be the tightest seal ever because you still need some air to go in. Um, so just wrap it around and just only keep it on the top. Let the bottom open so that that water can drip onto your tray. Place it near a sunny window, not right next to it. Check on your plant daily and water it as needed when the soil is light brown. As soon as you see a little yellowy or green shoot emerge, take your plastic off for good. You may need to mist your plant's leaves from time to time with a water bottle. If more than one seed sprouted, you're going to have to make a choice about which plant to repot. Look at which one has the healthiest stem and leaves. This one right here has the biggest leaves. This one actually sprouted first. It's really doing the best. So we're going to give that one the chance to have its own pot. And what we will do is snip these. We're going to show you how to plant your seedling in a container. If you plant it directly in the ground, you're going to do it basically the same way. Create a little hole for our seedling. And you can put your toilet paper roll or newsprint pot in there. To cover up the newspaper roll completely, that needs to be underground. What will happen is the roots will start growing through that because it's made of recycled paper, so it is a plant product. It'll actually break down and give the plants some nutrients. After you pot your seedling, it's very important to water it because right now all of this soil is dry and your plant does need to drink water. Once you put your seedling outside, keep taking good care of it, watering it as needed, and uh, enjoy your harvest once your vegetables mature. Get creative in the kitchen and share your recipes with us. Soil to Spoon was brought to you by the Lansdowne Public Library and the Lansdowne Yaden Elm Street Program of the Lansdowne Economic Development Corporation in partnership with the Borough of Lansdowne and Borough of Yaden. The Lansdowne Yaden Elm Street Program is funded in part by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Department of Community and Economic Development.